Hello. I wanted to give you guys a, a look at uh, what's this on my rat in front of me where I'm working. Uh, my It's my tools and my little drawers of doodads, all my threads, a bucket of scraps and things in the larger basket, my little pieces here. And I just recently made this tub embellishment cover. Isn't it cute? I simply love it. It uh, it just really dressed up my little thing here. And I'm going to make one for that bigger tub that sits right next to it. As you can see, I work out of plastic tubs, not out of glass jars. So I needed to spruce up these little uh, plastic tubs a little bit. And with all these scraps I've got, I've got no excuse not to have pretty tubs sitting around. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I wanted to um, talk about the inspiration I got for doing this. And uh, let me get my camera in a better situation. And I'll be right back to do that. I was recently uh, visiting, I believe it's Tracy at Art Fiber Stitch. And she had a new video up, it's really new, and it was on making tribal cuffs with fabric scraps, embroidery, and embellishments to recycle glass jars. And it was so pretty. The ones that she made and, and wrapped around those jars were just gorgeous. I was very jealous. So I thought, okay, Linda, you need to make something for your tubs so that you can sit in an area that looks as pretty as her area does. So anyway, this is an inspiration from Art Fiber Stitch. It's not my design. It's not my original um, thought. It, it was something that I was inspired from her video to try for myself. So I wanted to show you a little bit more of it uh, here as you go around. Now, mine are adjustable because I have put elastic loops and buttons. That means that this could be taken off and it could be actually put on a larger container because these this is elastic, these stretch. And if I needed to uh, make it smaller or even larger than that, I could just move the buttons forward or backwards. So it's completely adjustable in that sense. Now, oh, my little stuff is falling out here. Uh, what I made this out of in the back uh, before I, you know, sewed on the little uh, embellishments on the front was my, um, what I had left. <laughs> I've only got one section of this left. I've talked about this before. I make this... Um, up in advance the scrappy trim and I usually have 10 of these laying around of different ones I'm down to my last one so you can see I've been using a lot of it lately but I had three uh, sections uh, pretty good sections and so what I did was I took these three sections here's one here's one and here's one and I sewed them together and that made exactly the width that I needed for this particular container. And I make these in, uh, in anywhere from one and a half to three inches. Uh, so they're, used, they're all different widths uh, when I create them. And this one is done in a theme color. Uh, some of them are done just scrap you every color in the world. And uh, I have got to get back to making those. And when I do make a new batch of them I will show them to you but these come in so handy and as you can see I used three uh, different ones and put them together and it gave me a really nice look a lot of it's covered up but still you can see and then I came down this side and I put a section of the same stuff this away and sandwich the elastic in between it and the uh, back fabric and sewed it in good so the elastic would hold really well and that would be strong there and then I 
just came and put a little uh, trim on the top that was substantial enough it would stand up without falling over. And uh, that worked, worked out well for that too. So anyway, I'm just really tickled with this and I'm so glad that I went over to Art Fiber and Stitch and, and saw that video because <clears throat> I hadn't really thought about decorating my tubs, but I sure like this one over this one. So this one's going to be up next and then I have several more. Uh, I believe this is a Walmart uh, yogurt tub. It's what this one is. But I like the plastic. I can. They're bigger than the jars. And uh, they are easier for me to get in and out of like that. And also I can't break them. So I'm going to be using tubs, plastic tubs that I'm covering in mine. Okay, that's my little... Uh, recognition of another artisan on YouTube. Uh, I just, well, all of her stuff is just really wonderful, but I just happened to catch this very new uh, video of hers, and it really, really interested me, and so I just had to stop everything and try to make one of these of my own, and I'm sure glad I did because I really, I really like it get my little, I can't do without my little confetti here, you know, and uh, I've got scraps everywhere now. <laughs> so grab me some buttons and some sc scraps and, and just make some, and I will link her uh, video in the description area so you can go straight to it. Uh, she gives a wonderful explanation of how she makes hers and, uh, <clears throat> finishes them off and everything. It's just wonderful. So go over and visit Art Fiber and Stitch. And uh, meanwhile, you know what to do. Stay scrap happy.